Hello, for today's video, we are going to be doing modeling of our quadratics with real life situations and you are going to need your calculator for the video. So if you don't have your calculator, make sure that you push pause, go get it, come back. All right, so the Warren Blue Devil is trying to throw t-shirts out to fans in the football stands. Let the equation representing his throw be represented by our quadratic. X is the horizontal distance in feet, and Y is the vertical distance in feet. So our measurements in feet, we want to make sure that we're always labeling things correctly. So whether it's feet or yards, X is horizontal, Y is vertical. So what we want to do is we want to graph the path of his throw, label all points as we use them. So this is where our calculator is going to come into play. We go to our y equals, we clear out anything that's not necessary, and we have a negative. Make sure that you are using the negative and not the subtraction sign. 0.2x squared plus 4x plus 5. So we have our equation. We're going to start off with zoom 6. Zoom 6, that brings us to our standard window. And now we're going to make some changes because we need to change it so that we can see the entire graph. That means the x-intercepts, our mins, our maxes, whatever it is, we want to see the entire parabola. But we only move one number at a time. You can do some guessing, but I know I need to move it to the right. And it looks like I'm not that close, so I'm going to go and I'm going to move it to the right 30. Remember, min is to the left, max is to the right. And let's see how that helps us. Okay, good. So now I have both of my x-intercepts. Now I need to move my graph up here for my y-intercept. If I want to move up and down, I change the y's. Min goes down, max goes up. So I'm going to go ahead and just try the same thing of 30. Good. All right, so maybe you didn't use the same window I did, and that's fine. Maybe your parabola looks like slightly different, because if you have a different scale, your graph is going to look slightly different which is okay. The important part is that you can see the entire parabola. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch that. And now as we answer the questions, we're going to label this information on our graph. How high was the t-shirt when the blue devil released the t-shirt? So we're trying to talk about when he let go of that t-shirt. That's your starting point. The starting point is going to be that y-intercept. So if we go back to our calculator, remember this is something that you can find directly from standard form from the equation or the table or I can calculate it. So I go to second trace, number one, I want the y-intercept, that's when x is zero, so zero, five. So how high was the t-shirt when the blue devil released it? It's not going to be on the ground because it's in his hand. And when it says how high, that definitely means that we are looking at the y value of the coordinate. So that is going to be 5 feet. When he lets go of the t-shirt as he goes to throw it, it is 5 feet above the ground. How high does the t-shirt get in the air? So again, when it asks how high, we are referencing the y value. And it's asking what is the highest point that it reaches, which means that we are going to be looking at the maximum value. So we go back to our calculator, second trace, number four, which is the maximum. And remember, it walks you through. The first thing it's asking you is left bound. It's saying, are you left of where you think the max is? Yep, so I hit enter. You could have scrolled closer if you wanted to. I keep on scrolling, I keep on going. I make sure that I go, because my second question was right bound. Are you right at the max? Yep. I go back towards that middle, because it's asking me to guess. Remember, I don't actually have my answer until the word changes to maximum. And then I see that my max is at 1025. Remember, because we want to know how high, we are saying that it is 25 feet in the air. 
it's 10 feet away, but it's 25 feet high. So again, that means 10 feet away, 25 feet high. Again, we have that point labeled on our graph. All right, for part D, it says the guardrail. So if you're at the football game, the Blue Devils on the ground, in the stands, and those bleachers, there's that big guardrail in the front. So the guardrail in front of the bleachers is 15 feet tall. If the Blue Devil is 14 feet away, does he make it over the guardrail into the stands? Hmm, okay. So we're trying to think about it has to make it over the guardrail when he is 14 feet away. So if he were to release this t-shirt in this path when he's 14 feet away from the guardrail, is it going to go over? The 14 is going to be our x value. So what I want to do is I want to find out how high is the t-shirt when it's 14 feet away. So I'm going to go back to my calculator. I'm going to go to second trace and I'm going to use my value again. Number one and I want to find out what is the value when it's 14 feet away. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to label this point on my graph of 14 comma 21.8. So at this point, would the Blue Devil make the t-shirt over the guardrail? Remember, the guardrail is 15 feet tall, and at that point, our t-shirt is 21.8 feet tall. So yes, it's well over that guardrail. When you answer this question, you want to make sure that your explanation is clear and that you tell me which numbers you compared, because there's a lot of numbers going on. So I'm going to say yes when the shirt is 14 feet away, the shirt is 21.8 feet high, which is well over the 15 foot guardrail. So again, what we're doing is we're comparing the 15 feet with the 21 feet. I want to make sure that you're comparing the correct number. So always tell me which numbers you compared when determining your answers. All right, our next one Part E, if the Blue Devil is 18 feet away, does he make it over the guardrail into the stands? Explain. So we're going to go back to our graph, second calc again, and when I'm here, I'm going to go to the value again, and he's 18 feet away, so I'm going to type in 18, and at 18 feet away, he is 12.2 high. So I'm going to put that on my graph. At 18 feet, we are 12.2. Now, is that high enough to make it over the guardrail? Hopefully you're seeing they're saying no. So we say no. When the shirt is 18 feet away from the Blue Devil it is only 12.2 feet high which is 2.8 feet under the top of the guardrail. So it's not going to make it over, it's going to hit the guardrail and it's going to come back down. All right, so a really important part about this is kind of bringing us back to graphing stories is you have a parabola 
representing the path of the t-shirt and your job is to be able to interpret all the different important parts along that parabola to answer questions about what's happening at those points. Alright, and we are finished with today's video.